Okay, part uh, 10 of the truck project. Um, bought myself a little laser level. Uh, we're going to transplant a rear uh, Falcon independent diff into the truck and um, I'd like it to remain uh, have the same axle center line that the original uh, solid axle truck diff so truck the diff had so what I've done gone and bought this uh, laser level um, and it shoots laser beams all over the place and what I've done here basically it's a laser level I've extended the legs with, legs with a bit of a uh, dowel just so it sits up to the right height for my purpose and uh, basically what I'm trying to achieve is this uh, basically that dot is on the um, center line of the uh, original axle giving me the uh, original um, original uh, I basically want the thing to have the same uh, dimensions as the original truck I don't want to, the axle to shift around I just thought using this laser level might make life a bit easier with my marking out and all that type of thing so basically yeah that's uh, that laser level is uh, is on the um, on the center of the diff there the, the axle and what I've done here I've gone real high tech. Uh, basically, that that red there's a piece of cotton. Actually, I've got a cotton reel with a a high tech uh, brick on it there, holding it. And at the bottom, what I've done is basically machine myself up just a little uh, just a little pointer on the end of the string. So what I've done, I've put a washer on the ground, and I'll I will mark that as um, the axle center line for when all this goes back together. Um, yep, the high tech cotton string and this uh, this uh, has a plum dot. So what I've basically done, I'll mark that too. Um, put a washer around it there for the time being, but I will mark it on the ground permanently, and um, this should help me uh, put it all back together. With the um, with the new diff and, and it should all it should all be um, sitting in the same position as the uh, original diff with a bit of luck if all this works out. But as you can see, the um, the, the dot in the center axle and then that that gl that glow on the string is the um, center dot beam going across the string to the um, axle center so if I basically if I brought the I can't do it because obviously the lasers but what happens is that that gives me the idea that that uh, that plumb bob with the string at the bottom is uh, very much my uh, axle center line I'll mark that on the ground and um, yeah, so with a bit of luck, I should uh, should be able to put my independent rear end into the truck, and uh, it should be all uh, should be all the same as it was, dimensions wise. Anyway, apart from that, nothing much has happened. Um, uh, Campbell and I have uh, bought a bought a cheap V8 off eBay, and we. We discovered that it had water in one of the cylinders, um, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll sort that out. And um, yeah, but uh, anyway, the the video is more about the um, the diff alignment and uh, trying to go high tech uh, with this uh, this uh, what is it about five beam laser level. So um, we'll. Um, I'll leave it there for now. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll mark I'll mark that at the top of the guard, and um, for 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 reference, and I'll pretty much mark everything as much as I can. But um, yeah, I thought it was just a a short video to show my latest toy, and uh, 
uh, my interpretation of um, how it works. So anyway, uh, that'll do for part 10, short and sweet. But uh, anyway, I just want to get this thing marked up and uh, get my measurements down on the ground and on the truck and then uh, this uh, original diff can come out um, soon, I hope. And um, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll work on the independent type rear end and um, maybe the next video I might have that thing sitting in, uh, sitting in the truck or, or even fabricated in. So anyway, yeah, that'll do for now. Um, yep. yep. Uh, oh well. I'll, uh, that'll do. Cheers.